schools Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Sards. So we saved the finest for last. Uh, we hope it's the finest. Well, it's gold. Look, it's, it's gold wax. It's gold. It's I mean, wax yeah. and it's gold. Of course, it's the freaking <laughs> So um, for those of you who know Eclipse, um, the 50-50, they basically have a different color wax for you know, about 10 different variants, 10 to 12 different variants each year. This is 2015. I'd forgotten I even had it in the cellar and I was looking for things and started looking at the colors and like, well, Grand Cru, we haven't reviewed anything like that. Um, so Grand Cru means, means the finest wine. So it's supposed to be aged in the finest wine barrels. Um, we've done some other Eclipse 5050s before, uh, but not this one. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, so 5050 Brewing, Truckee, California, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, 11.9%, again, 2015. So is it Grand Cru or Grand Cru? Uh, who knows? <laughs> Oh, we're from Kentucky. Grand Cru. <laughs> <It's> Grand Cru. <laughs> Grand Cru. Grandmother. If and Cru. <laughs> Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. All right. So the pours dark. I mean, yeah, really dark too. there. And that tan has dissipated. But yeah, yeah you, like you said, holds the glass. Uh, the aroma. Oh, it smells really good, man. Yeah, I get a little roast and then I get some, you know, grape fruitish yeah. stuff. I mean, which obviously is from the wine barrels, but. Yeah, it smells, yeah, it really smells like a bramble or a, you know one of those yeah, fruited stout backyard. One of those um, kind of not as strong as one of those, but yeah. No, I mean, but I I, I I get the hints of that. Those uh, like you said, those fruited those that kind of fruited mm -hmm. chocolate aroma. Yeah. I think is what I get. All right. Let's Cheers. Get Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. That's good. That is good. That's really nice, and it's kind of complex too. It's mild in its flavor in that it's not a robust roastiness. Right. For a stout. Like the and I like wine. that. Yeah. yeah. So that's the first thing I noticed. Okay. But it's sweet. It's creamy. It's fruity. Yeah, it's fairly it's chocolatey. Big. It is. It's, it's got a lot of I mean it is complex. Um, it's been so long since we've done an Eclipse mm. 5050, I have to admit, mm. when I pulled one out, I don't know, a couple of months ago and found this one, I I was disappointed. I, I didn't like it as much as I thought I remember liking it. Because, um, I mean, yeah. I, know, I don't know how many you bought, but I, I bought too. quite a few. I was the same way. I bought one recently, and, I, and I, I, in my mind, it wasn't a bad beer, but in my mind, they were way better than Right, that. exactly. Um, still drinkable, still good, but not great like I thought I remembered. But it's funny, maybe because of that, my expectations for this were low. <laughs> even though be, I, I yeah, was really looking forward to right. it. Could but be. I tell you, this, this next sip I got, the combination of this kind of, this fruitiness, mm. this kind of tart and fruity flavor, it it melds so well with this a little bit of roast, like the roasted malt on the front of my tongue. That I think those two flavors go so well, and I think the fruitiness hides some of that roastiness for me. Yeah, I think which so is too. what I really enjoy. Um, I think that would have been my critique of you know the one. I think it was a I think it was Woodford that I drank recently, either sixteen or fifteen, something like that. And I, I do think it was too much roasted malt, and I didn't really get as much barrel character. And you know I'm getting the the kind of grape and fruitish flavor which i think is good a little sweetness and it does cut the roast quite a bit yeah. Th this to me is a step up from yeah. you know some of the others i've had and what's what's so lovely about this is that 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 fruitiness is subtle mm -hmm. to the point that i don't know if you gave me this blonde this would have been fun to do because i don't know what i would have said i'm not sure i would have said there's this fruitiness to it it's it's a subtle fruitiness it doesn't jump out at you like 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 the you know this recent recent batch of the Bourbon County you know the, the mm -hmm. Regal or what, right. you know whatever that one um, it doesn't it doesn't just jump like I'm drinking raspberry or blueberry or blackberry it's just this hint and subtle flavors that just dances with the roasted malt mm. and they work so well together yeah, I, um, I just think it's it was it's well done it's I it's so too. very creative and I. I I don't know if they, I mean, they, they nailed that flavor. The, the, the combination of those two as well. Mm. I like it enough. I'm gonna give it a four or five. My only knock is it's still just a little thin. It's thin. Um, so I was between a four, three, three, and a four. It's definitely better than a four, two, five. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I'm gonna go four or five just because I think it, it blends so well yeah. with the roasted malt. So I'll, I'll, still, I'll stay with four or five. And I feel the same way. I'm gonna give it a, a four or five tonight. I can see me giving it this is a four, two, five, but you know, we've had a couple things tonight. This yeah. is definitely the best one of those. Yeah. And on top of that, like I just, like I said, I really think it's interesting that with the barrel character, the fruitiness that came off that, um, what that did. Uh, I just, 
I don't, I'm not a red wine drinker or, you know, wine drinker period, but I, I, those notes have just rounded out the edges mm -hmm. of, of like a, a more roasty stout. I think that's a good way of putting it. It's just refined this beer, I think. And, uh, and again, so going back, it does have barrel character. It does. It, does. it has a little booziness, 11.9%. I think I've been really focusing on that kind of the, the fruitiness of the wine, fruit, you know that. But uh, it, it has all those characters. It is thin. It is thin. But I'm just I'm really digging that flavor right now, and I just kind of want to sit back and, and yeah. really enjoy it and sip on this one. I don't think it's terrible. It is thinner, but not terribly thin. Um, and that was my knock when I pulled the one out of the cellar the other day. Uh, was it was a little thinner yeah. than what I remembered, um, but still. I, this is a step up from the last Eclipse 5050 I had, yeah. and um, so I'm, I'm comfortable sticking with a four or five. If you if you like, you know, I wouldn't say sweeter stouts, but if you like stouts that have been aged in wine barrels, this is a good one. Yeah, it's worth seeking out. And and, and sometimes with the big roasts, and I may even pour just a little bit more of that worldwide just to get the big roast yeah, to kind idea. of compare it. Mm -hmm. But um, this it like the, the <clears throat> like that kind of fruit and roast um, mix match that goes on in the front. It kind of goes in this creaminess for me, and then I get this little bit of bourbon character on the back of the tongue. But then it's just mm -hmm. kind of all—it kind of just all fades away. It doesn't leave any lingering bitterness or any, you know, harsh lingering right. flavors. It just kind of leaves this pleasant, yeah, uh, this pleasant, almost creamy sweetness on the tongue. Uh, just a nondescript sweetness or creaminess on the tongue that I really enjoy. So you know what this makes me want to do, though. Makes me not tonight, but makes me want to bring out that last Boumaye I have. Boumaye, Boumaye. Oh, that beer, man. I'm oh, glad I have beer. another one. But anyway, I need to go back and watch that video because I I can recall reviewing that and thinking like I never heard of it, so I gave it whatever, and then I'm thinking maybe I was like in a four two five. And I was like, no, this is a four five. And then like by I was like, oh, by the four, end, seven, it was five like or, four seven five. But I didn't want. Seven. I mean, I just it's kind of going through the process of like you know trying to bring a beer that you don't have expectations for so you kind of give it a number <laughs> and then you're like no it's better than like as you're sitting and thinking yeah. and sipping you're like no it's better than that heck it's even better than that yeah. <laughs> no that one that was a pleasant surprise well that since you love our banter i'll go ahead and say this when i bought the you know because i bought you a couple or maybe one i don't remember how many you got but i bought me a couple and a couple of our friends wanted some and now they didn't rate it as high as we did mm -hmm. but when i bought them because i bought so many at once the guy was like what is this beer that you're buying all these yeah, things? And yeah. it's like, well, can, am I allowed to buy this many? It's like, well, sure, go ahead. <laughs> and uh, of course, the next time I went back, they were all gone, yeah. uh, which wasn't too long after that. <laughs> so um, he probably told his customers, and this guy yeah, bought like twenty of these all things. Of you want them? Right, he was trying to sell it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. And he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the official stamp of approval. Who my Check him out. Buy this one. <laughs> no, this is good. This is yeah. one of my, again, like when I first had these, I guess it's been a while or whatever, but the last one I had it with you was like a Woodford or something. And mm -hmm. just my expectations were not quite met. Uh, still a good beer. I think I have a 425. But this one is better than that. I think it's just the, 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 the wine barrel or it just it really it's makes good. This, really does good things for this beer. So four or five for both of us. Yep. Anything else? No. As always, guys, if you can't bring your love, love the beer you have. Thanks.